These are the top five categories on the Shopify app store, according to Shopify themselves. The reason why I wanted to share this information is that the Shopify app store is a great place to launch a SaaS product on. Launching on the Shopify app store gives you built in distribution, and is one of the favorite marketplaces to launch on for indie hackers. There's also a huge community of Shopify merchants who are looking to pay for different apps and extensions to help make their Shopify store better. So let's head to the tweet now. This comes from Shopify devs, and they recently tweeted out the top five categories merchants are searching for most in the Shopify app store. So let's take a look at the first category here, SKU and barcode management. This had a 182 percentage increase in page views. And so the overall category is merchants need better inventory tracking across sales channels. So features such as a multi-channel SKU syncing tool, AI powered barcode generator and scanner, and inventory forecasting based on SKU performance. So let's dive into this category in the Shopify app store and see what's out there in terms of competition for this category. So for the first category, let's check out multi-channel SKUs here. So we can see overall the app categories are syncing in inventory from possibly Amazon. That could probably include other marketplaces such as Etsy as well. Let's try adding syncing to the end of this. We can say there are different multi-store syncing, so between different Shopify stores. So in terms of that keyword themselves, there's not a ton of different apps out there. Let's try searching for a barcode generator. So we can see some here, just as an example, this is one of the top apps here. And they have a free plan for 20 barcodes and then premium plan is $49 a month and a price is $99 a month and it looks to be priced based on barcodes. Something we could do here is this app has a 4.2 star review rating. We could go through the reviews here and find out what people are complaining about. For this app here, it looks like someone complained about their customer service. And if we can go through maybe some two star reviews, this person is trying to use a zebra connected barcode printer. So maybe that's looking for an integration or something like that there. And so for each of those, you're really taking this overall search and looking and diving deeper down, trying to find different apps where maybe there's holes in the categories that are already available. As for the second category, it's ERP integration. So businesses want seamless connection between Shopify and their ERP systems. So if we look at the top ERP systems out there, it's Oracle Cloud Enterprises, SAP, Sage, or Udo. They're looking for real-time inventory syncing. So pretty similar to actually the first category here and also automated order fulfillment and accounting integrations, as well as custom ERP connectors for specific industries. So there are multiple categories here in which we could dig down. We just quickly do a search for ERP in the Shopify app store. We can see a NetSuite ERP connector. I don't see anything for SAP here. Maybe it's not something that's super popular, but I think it would take a little more research. But we can see here something for like a NetSuite ERP connector. The minimum price is $199 a month and it goes up to $375 a month. And based on this review here, this is actually a better price than what this person was paying for before. So it could be an opportunity to even add a competitor app here. Next category is product content management. This has an increase in 170% in page views. So merge Merchants need tools to create and manage compelling product descriptions. So these are tools such as AI assisted product description generator. This can be accomplished pretty easily if you're using open AI's API here to help create it, taking in product details, I sync those in using Shopify's own API. So a merchant can quickly generate those. You have bulk product content editor with SEO optimization and multi-language product content management system. And any of these here would be assisted greatly by AI. And so you can really speed up that workflow for Shopify merchants. And that's something that everyone really needs to in terms of creating good product descriptions to help sell their inventory. The next category, security enhancements. This had an increase in 169 percentage in page views, as there's a growing concern for protecting merchant and customer data. So these tools would be advanced fraud detection for high-risk orders, GDPR and CCPA compliance automation tools, as well as two-factor authentication for customer accounts. If we do a quick search for fraud here, let's see what kind of apps show up. So we do have some fraud country blockers, fraud filters, looks like this free app here doesn't have some great reviews. Looks like it was developed by Shopify themselves. And you have some targeting things such as chargebacks too. So this is a growing concern as we see quite a few apps filling this need here. But if we were to take a look into it, let's take a look at one of these top apps, take a look at some two-star reviews, take a look at here, saying these people are trying to get rid of bots. So that could be something you wanted to focus on. Lastly, the fifth category is staff notifications. We see a 161% increase in page views. So merchants need better internal communication tools. So these are things such as a real-time order alert system for staff, task management and assignment tool for store teams, and performance dashboard with customizable staff notifications. This category here also looks to target larger Shopify merchants 
and so probably need a team here. So I'd imagine there are bigger stores, which could lead to more stickiness over time. As once you can get integrated here, it'd be more work for them to switch out. And they're more of a going concern too, as if they do have staff, they're probably not a brand new store that's just being tested for a few weeks. Let's head to the Shopify app store. Let's search for staff notifications. You can see there is some Slack notifications. This one's to send messages to anyone, but nothing along the lines of a keyword for staff notifications. So that could be an opportunity there. If you've gotten this far in the video, I'm sure you want to build your very own MicroSaaS product. And that's where I have you covered with a complete academy that's going to show you how to build scale and profit from your very own micro SaaS product. Even if you don't have any SaaS ideas, funding, or SaaS experience, there's a link for this in the description below. So make sure you check it out. I also have some free SaaS ideas you can steal. There's a link in the description as well for this below. This concludes the video here. If you liked it at all, I would love it so much if you smash that like and subscribe button below. If you have any questions, leave a comment, but thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.